Let's break it down with Tim Hasselbeck, Mike Tannenbaum. I'm Zubin Mahenti. First flush thoughts on one of the most epic Super Bowl games ever played again with Boomer and company on the way. It was an epic game. I think Cal Shannon made a massive mistake. I think when they won the coin toss to start overtime, go on defense because now you could go play four down football. And that's actually what happened in that drive. They had to convert a fourth down and Kansas City was able to go score a touchdown. And in a game where so many small plays could have made the difference, I think by not deferring, it hurt San Francisco. 25-22, Tim, your takeaway thoughts, and then we're going to dig in. We'll have all your stats, all your post-game reaction, player reaction, all on the way tonight. What you have off the jump? I mean, I, I just think it's about Patrick Mahomes. Look, it's the best player in football, my estimation, and they put it on him. Through, we had 46 pass attempts in this football game, was over 300 yards. And then to think what he did on that final drive, basically just willing his team down the field, I, I mean, and I think it's a little bit what Mike is saying. You're, you're giving Patrick Mahomes the opportunity to play four down football. But, yeah, like that to me is the difference. I think what we really are witnessing is greatness at the quarterback position. And Patrick Mahomes did it under immense pressure. Let's dig into that a little bit more, Tim. Mike Hang tied I know there's so much to talk about. Fourth Super Bowl in five years, third Super Bowl win in five years, 28 years old. What are we on the precipice of seeing right now? Well, listen, I, I mean, I think when, when we see Brady, I, I just keep thinking that certain records don't feel like they're going to be broken, right? So Brady's six Super Bowls. Like, you think, well, hey, no one's really going to catch that. Well, look where Patrick Mahomes is in terms of just the start that he's off to. And uh, look, th no one can dispute Brady's greatness, but I mean, it's incredible that you know, Patrick Mahomes in such a short period of time has found himself with this many championships. And then obviously as we see the double digit comeback there in the biggest game of the season, yeah, it's, it's incredible. And two of those three, of course, came against San Francisco, bookending the first one, the last one against the Eagles, and now this one against San Francisco. Go at it. Uh, yeah, and Drew, just to, one other point to Tim's point, he was their leading rusher. He had 66 yards rushing. He was their leading rusher. He had over seven yards of carry. I didn't love how they had to manufacture some fourth down conversions, but, you know, they brought pressure. He got the ball out. They played coverage. And when as soon as you, if you play man-to-man -man against Patrick Mahomes, he's going to tuck it in and run. And I think that's why he's the best player, best athlete, best decision maker. And now he's literally unstoppable. Literally. In the prime of his career at the age of 28, again, Chris Berman on the field where that epic Super Bowl was just played. Allegiant Stadium, Vegas, first time Super Bowl. Alex Smith, Booger, they're on the field. We'll get to them in just a second. SVP after that. One-stop shop. All your post-game coverage all night long right here on ESPN. Tim, it was an up-and-down season. The Chiefs essentially said that. Their season changed after that loss at home to the Raiders. They were carried by their defense all season long, yet when it counted the most, it was their offense that ended up winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was an up and down season. I think that's why you have to give Andy Reid a lot of credit for just kind of keeping the team together. You know, we saw, you know, even in this game, I, I thought there were moments where the Chiefs looked like they had lost their poise. There's kind of a calm about Andy Reid to, to weather some of the storms. I mean, it seemed like you, know, you saw Matt Nagy kind of Yelling at the offense. You saw Chris Jones trying to bring the defense together. You saw Travis Kelsey nearly knock Andy Reid over, but it's kind of Andy's steadiness in this football game. And I think really throughout much of the season that held the team together the way that it did. And it was a defensive led team for much of the year. It was a defensive performance for much of this game. But ultimately, I do think it still comes down to Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, Final drive in the biggest moment. And I can tell you're chomping at the big. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, no, uh, they got better as the year went on. Like, and punctuated by that, Zubin was eight different Kansas City Chiefs caught passes today. So they lose the great Tyreek Hill, right? And they go win back to back tiles. How do they do that? It's a little bit Rasheed Rice. We saw McCall Harbin, who wasn't even on their team to start the year. He was a New York Jet, and yet he there he is getting the game winning touchdown. So it was like Travis Kelsey and, and Band Aids, but and to Tim's point, like, even in this game, they sort of had to, like, reinvent themselves because Pacheco was really held in check for the most part. So, to me, like, their adjustment was, like, a couple of quarterback runs. Kelsey got open a couple of times. 
and they just made enough plays, one more play than the 49ers. We are still waiting for the MVP. It was a later than expected night in Vegas, but then again, aren't they all? Take a look at the scene in Kansas City where they are celebrating their third Super Bowl <laughs> championship in five years. You know, they had to wait 50 years between championships, between Super Bowl four and 54. Now three in five years.